Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I need to go at that door and kill a shitload of dudes. Before I do, I wanted to give a shout out to Ragnarok1945. Uh, he had an interesting thing to say about the thing where I had been sealed in a sarcophagus for a hojillion years. Uh, let's see. There's an additional, p an important point you may not have been aware of. Time is relative. For example, 24 hours on Earth is not 24 hours on Mars, because Mars is further from the sun, so one Mars day is longer than one Earth day. I did know that, by the way. I think it's Uranus, lol, that uh, actually rotates slower than it revolves around the sun, so a day is short, is uh, longer than a year on that planet. Citation needed, it might have been one of the other planets, I don't know. Uh, might have been some like weird other planet in another solar system, even. I just remember reading about a planet that did that once. Anyway, therefore, you have to apply the same situation in Hell. Thousands of years in Hell time does not necessarily have to also mean thousands of years in Earth time. And, uh... That's an interesting point, but, uh... I don't know that it accounts for thousands of years. I mean... There we go. Ow. Hell is an extra-dimensional realm. I don't think it even obeys the laws of physics. You know, most universe... You know, most planes of existence are finite, for one. I don't think there is a limit to hell. They are fireproof. Huh. Pardon me. Mm! Oh, that was nice. That was a good one. Oh, right. Health! I need that! Give that to me! kind of fixated on the eye. Okay, actually, let's put the other one back on and start throwing ammo at people! Ammo. Oh, have whatever that is. Oh no! That is good timing. That didn't. That did! Oh. Holy Jesus. Nice. Oh my god, it actually happened! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry, uh... When Doom 3 was announced, they made a big deal out of the fact. It was the first game I had ever heard of, of that had, I think they called it, per-pixel targeting. So instead of a, uh, let me see, let me see if I can demonstrate here. Okay, perfect. 
So this, you know, model here. There's a big empty space in here with bars in here. I should be able to shoot a rocket through the bars and keep going through it. Oh, I did that time! Must have hit something. So like that, basically. Except that uh, back in the day, all, you know, 3D models for monsters just had an invisible box around them. And the box is really what you're hitting. You know, if you've ever heard the term hitbox, that is literally what it's referring to. Uh... But... Doom 3 had this system going... At, the, at least they said this in the pre-release marketing. You know, we very carefully mapped the hitboxes to the character model. It's not just a rectangle anymore. It's, uh... You know, if the, the, the example they gave, and the line that always stuck with me was... If you fire a rocket and it, uh, between someone's legs, it will pass between their legs and keep going. And what do you know? That's why I missed that imp just there. Oh, that wasn't as impressive as I hoped. Donkey Punch! Hey man, I've seen your boss now, I'm not afraid. Just gonna borrow all this health and uh Need more uh chainsaw fuel. Pardon me, I need to grab this armor. Thank you! Oh, I can't. That is not the right direction. Oh! Where the hell? Why didn't I go down? Hmm. Never mind, forget the scroll wheel. It's just weird. Sweet mercy! This place sucks now. Why am I trying to read that? I don't read hell. What am I expecting it to say? Come on, little closer. Little bit closer. Ah! Get back here! Oh no, you done fucked up. Yes! Get back here so I can kill you! I didn't get to rip and tear this time. I'd have turned them into chunky salsa. Fine. <laughs> That's because I found it funny. Yoink! Lore? Oh no, it's a trial, isn't it? Duh. I'm almost disappointed, even though it's... Well, I don't have to fight anything to earn lore. I'm just saying. Oh. Hold that thought. Collect all 15 Hell Relics and reach the altar before the time expires. Go. I didn't even get to see what the thing did because someone is hitting me with projectiles. In flight mobility. Oh, it's a platforming challenge, isn't it? I thought it was going to be a race. In flight mobility. It creates a significant increase in control over in air movement after a double jump. Well, shit, I need that. Go! Oh... No! Uh, 
I have exploded. I can do this. Just need to stay calm, keep breathing. Left. Oh, piss! He didn't, he didn't even grab the wall, he just bounced right off. All right. Oh, come on! That's not... Is the arrow not the clicky part of the, uh... Of the cursor? Okay, here we go. That shouldn't have worked. Thank you for, uh... No. No. I'm falling a long way there. I can do this! Come on! Why is it so cold in here? I think my air conditioner is on the fritz. I'd less think I'm inside of an onion. Onion? An oven! To be doing this! Uh. Yes, I'm inside of an onion! As you can see by all of the uh, fibrous uh, panels around me. <sighs> Alright, the platforming challenge wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be like jumping from rock to rock like it was in hell. I just glanced down at the bottom and thought it said McFarlane Toys for a second. Are they really advertising, like, the tie-in action figures? Because McFarlane Toys are the guys who do those really detailed uh, miniatures. They used to do stuff for all of the, uh, the dark games. And those with whom you serve all operate with the same goal in mind. The development of a new dog for mankind. It is by this guiding principle working together as a team, that we will elevate ourselves to the next plane of existence. Mancubus, I'm ready to fight! You're not Mancubus. Not even a little. Oh. When you get back to hell, tell the rest of the Astral Dreadnought I said hi. No! Oh, I, mm, that's just embarrassing. I completely thought I was in a different part of the map at the second there. For a second there. <clears throat> okay, just checking. Actually, I should look at that, shouldn't I? Ooh. Thank you. Kill 30 demons while in midair. That I can do. Uh, I kind of want to do that. Just as I'm constantly finding ammo. Those who came before you and those with whom you serve oh. all operate with the same goal in mind. The development of a new dawn for mankind. It is by this guiding principle, working together as a team, ourselves to the next plane of existence. Oh, well, you're lucky. I have unfinished business just over here. Fuck. Uh 
One of them is right in front of me for a second there. Eat a dick! That was loud! Holy shit! Welcome to Mars, asshole. Ha! Huh. Nice! It counts! up there. Well, that was uh, anticlimactic after all that time. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't want to walk off a cliff. Again! Okay, so I can go in there. Fuck me! This map is huge and open and stuff. Where am I actually trying to go? Up there. Okay, so that's probably where the door goes. In that case... How about walking around to the bazooka in my hands? I mean, that was funny, but kind of wasteful. Ah! No! Don't eat me! Oh, fuck! They blend right into the mist around here. God. Why is it so dim over here? Missed. Sup, Kells? How's it going? There's, uh... Nothing over here. Except death. Well, more death, I should be specific. I do not want to try this while... Oh, yeah! I can just immediately reverse direction completely. Of course, hell is invaded, so it's probably flooded with bile, or the blood of the innocent, or urine, or something equally unpleasant. Bile is the fluid found in your liver. I think it's the liver. Whatever. It's a fluid that belongs inside of humans that you probably don't want to interact with. Those who came before you, and those with whom you serve, not all listening. With the same goal in mind, the development of a new dog. Silence! It is by this guiding principle, working together as a team. Someone put that hat back on his head after they were done mutilating him.
fucking safety first. Uh, okay. Hey! I was wondering when you were gonna appear. Oh, jeez. I think it's you. Uh, oh, no, it's them! Ow. Quit it. Okay! I think it's them because they've got a big head and horns that point down. Pinky! These demonic animals are unnamed by those in hell. I get that. I get that joke. I'll explain it in a minute. They were colloquially named Pinkies due to their unusual skin pigmentation when first discovered by the Lazarus Project's tethering operation, MTC-2146351. That's a different one that wasn't doomed. Their aggressive nature against the living is well documented. Notice, also pink. Just saying. Not that unusual. Uh, they're unnamed by those in hell. So the Pinkies from the original Doom, that's just a fan nickname. The, if you look in the manual, they're literally just called demons. P you know, former humans, imps, demons. I always thought that was really redundant as a kid. So that's why everyone just calls them Pinkies. Oh! I got an achievement called Rip and Tear for that. How are they teleporting in if they're just animals? Oh, wait. Ow. My leg. Fuck. <laughs> ah! They are fast! Oh. All right, no mods. Fine. More, several people have actually uh, suggested that I... Uh, I never started the timer on this episode. Okay, I'm going to call it. I just wanted to mention a number of people have suggested the, uh, the, the mobile turret upgrade for this thing. So, uh, so uh, I mean, I was leaning towards that one anyway. It sounded rad, but uh, I'm just saying. So we'll forget this and then finish the episode, I guess. Ooh. Samuel Hayden uh, 2. Before Samuel Hayden died, he completed detailed instructions and designs for a new body. A bionic automaton of the plasmatronic processing core. A biomechanical brain. Samuel instructed that his frontal and temporal lobes would remain intact, but the functions of his parietal and occipital lobes were to be bypassed and networked to the plasmatronic core. I don't know what those parts of the brain do. Samuel's personality, memories, reasoning, and comprehension would be carried over to his new framework, but his perception and calculation would become supercharged. Okay. Powered by Argent caches, and later by an Argent uh, accumulator, the cybernetic transference was a success. Samuel returned bigger, stronger, and more formidable than before in a three-meter-tall mechanoid body. When his decision to choose such a mammoth mechanical physique was questioned, Samuel responded, Dictating the future of mankind is quite dangerous work. You never know when we may need a hero. <laughs> Stem cells and neural conditioning agents keep his organic matter, specifically his brain, called it, constantly rejuvenating. He has existed for over 130 years now, and it is presumed that his lifespan will be indefinite. It is said that his body has long since passed, but his soul will live on forever. Hey, that one wasn't as dark as I was worried. I think you need it more than I do.
Anyway, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Doom. Apparently I'm a vampire. Huh. Later.